Welcome to Super User Channel. In this video, I will share with you how you can control glass opacity in Elevation View in Revit by adding a filter inside the View Visibility Template. I will be using this Mixed Use Building Elevation as an example for this tutorial. If you are familiar with Revit, you know that a glass material appears transparent only at a 3D view but it is opaque by default in elevation views. Now we are unable to see the continuation of the mullions of the curtain walls behind the glass balustrade, and I would like to change that in order to give the elevation more depth and the 3D feeling to it. I typically model the balustrade using the curtain wall tool, so I can add the filter to the curtain panels which I want to control its transparency. So firstly, I will click tab multiple times on my keyboard until the curtain panel is highlighted. Please be careful to choose the curtain panel and not the curtain wall as a whole. Then click edit type. Now I will type a keyword in one of these type of parameters so I can filter it later. It doesn't matter which parameter to fill, it totally depends on your preference. I will choose type comments and type the word balustrade as an example. Click OK and then escape the curtain panel selection. Then go to the view template and then to filters. Click on edit new and then on a new. In the dialog box, I will call the filter balustrade opacity for example, but you can give it any name you like. Now check curtain panels in the categories section. Then in the filter rules, choose to filter by the same type parameter you filled your keyword with, which is type comments in our example. Then type your keyword exactly as you previously wrote it. What we just did means that any curtain panel with the type comments equal balustrade will be controlled by this filter. Now we click add and choose the filter. Under transparency, click override and change it as you prefer. I will put it on 30 for now. Click OK to close all dialog boxes. As you can see, the filter is working and it did change the glass panel's opacity in the elevation view. Now experiment as you wish with the transparency percent until you reach your desired image. I want to mention two last remarks. The first one is that you need to be careful with this filter if you are using the same curtain panel type somewhere else at your model. I recommend that you duplicate the curtain wall types that you need to control and give it a designated type to avoid it changing the glass opacity where you don't need it. The second remark is that if the curtain panels you need to change is modeled on another Revit model and only linked to the model where the filter is assigned. You need to use the instance parameters instead of the type parameters in order to control the panels. But the rest of the steps are exactly the same. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.